Hi everybody, Richard again here from Electric Classic Cars and on this week's episode we're going to be starting on our biggest project yet but we've got a weight problem so let's get into it. Now then, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this build uh, because we've done an intro on it before, click this link above. But in short, we have to fit four electric motorbikes on the back of this thing, plus four passengers and a 165 kilowatt hour battery pack. So it's needless to say, we need to drop a lot of weight off this vehicle before we can even start. And that's the challenge of today's video, to see if we can drop probably more than the Jensen Interceptor, which is I think 620 kilos we dropped off that, and see if we can break our own record, if you like, and drop more than that off this vehicle. Do you reckon we got a chance in hell, Tim? I reckon it's, so. It's a big from Tim there. It's like, like so a trip to Weight Watchers. It's a massive trip, trip to Weight Watchers. So let's get into it. In, in fact, let's get some numbers down on the board first to see what we've got to, as a starting point. As always, the first step in this process is let's get the starting weight. And there is about three quarters of a tank of fuel in this thing, and we got it on the scales. So currently it is weighing 2,365 kilos. So that's our starting weight. Tim, you'll have to remember that because we've got to draw it on the whiteboard. Yeah, we'll do. So 2,365 kilos is our starting weight. Let's get to the whiteboard and crunch some numbers. Right, I've crunched the numbers, boys and girls on our lardy landy and obviously the starting point is 2365 kilos of weight at the moment the gross curb weight of this vehicle is 3500 kilos that's the maximum weight this vehicle can be so that means currently it can carry 1135 kilos in weight however we have to add four electric motorbikes Four passengers, obviously, or allow for four passengers. Uh, 165 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is massive. A motor, cradle, other bits and pieces like chargers, cables, etc. And all that I've estimated to come out to be around about 1,730 kilos. And if you calculate that back to there, that's around about 600 kilos overweight. So that means today's challenge is to try to get at least 600 kilos of weight off this thing, hopefully more. So let's get out the tools and let's dive in. <laughs> God, that bonnet's not exactly light. Whew. Right, so we've taken out most of the dirty smelly stuff now. Engines out, uh, gearbox is out, transfer box is out, radiators out. We've also taken the prop shafts off, obviously, but we've put them back into the pickup bit at the back because they're going to remain with the car, so we'll weigh them with the car. But, yep, yeah, that's the lion's share of the weight is out, so now let's weigh what we've taken off. Right, I've taken my jacket off now because we've got a bit of a sweat on, but before we get the scales out and weigh like, how much is taken off, with all this stuff. I want to show you physically the difference between old technology and new technology because what we have in front of us here is everything to turn the energy of the fuel into motion. So there's no fuel in this, there's no petrol tank or batteries etc. This is just literally engine versus motor. But look at the size difference. This is a 2.4 litre Puma engine, the exhaust transfer box, um, gearbox down there etc. And all this is replaced by that down there. But that's the size difference. I'm interested today in weight. So let's get the scales out and see how much has been taken off. Okay, so it's back on the scales now. Uh, starting weight was 2365. We're now down to 1915. So that is 450 kilos of weight taken off just with the engine, gearbox, transfer box, and exhaust so far. So. Still a long way to go, it's got to get it up to 600 or above, so time to turn to the rear of the car, uh, get the fuel tank out and anything else we can think of in the rear that needs to come out. So, more to come off. Now I've just found an easy win um, in the rear and that is this contraption here, which is a little bit weird to most people, but in the Netherlands where this came from, your load bed is only meant to be a certain amount before it then gets termed as being a commercial vehicle so what they've done is they've built this which makes it 
a non-commercial vehicle. So I've drilled all the pop rivets out and it's all checker plate. So all this and this can come out. Right, so that's about as much as we're going to take out the rear, I reckon. So we've taken the, the checker plate out of the load bed. We've got the fuel tank and fuel out. And also the customer doesn't want the tow bar, so we've taken that off as well. So that's the rear done. Let's have a look at the front. Now, around the front of the vehicle, there's one thing that stands out like a sore thumb that I want to take off, and that's this winch. Because, I mean, overall effect that they were going when they built this was that Spectre James Bond kind of look. But, you know, they had the rope on the front and that's come off because it was rubbing the paint. But they've left all this on and these things weigh an absolute ton. So, and I can tell it's never been used because it's rusted to hell here as well. So, the customer doesn't want it. So, this is going to come off. And then I think what we'll do is we'll probably replace the bumper with a really aggressive looking like um, bowler, you know, aluminium punched uh, bumper as well. So, but first of all, let's get this off. And then I think uh, then it'll be time to get it on the scales again. Right, you're going to have to give me a hand now, Tim. It's just going to weigh a lot, I'm warning you now. If you grab the other end of that. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's heavy. Uh, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Don't you go. Right, flat. Oh. That's heavy. I told you it was heavy. Wow. Right, let's have a look at the weights. Uh, just to let you know, I've put a standard bumper back on after we took that winch bumper off, but we're probably going to save a little bit more weight once we put the lightweight bumper on, but I'm, I want to see what it's like with it, just a standard bumper on. So we're at now 1,712 kilos. So starting weight was 2,365. Uh, that is 650 kilos. We've managed to take off this thing, and I wanted a minimum of 600 kilos off it, so we've got to 650, which is good. However, I just want one more thing off this, and I'll explain more inside. So the last thing I want to take out is this odd-looking box down here underneath the back seat, because we're going to have a battery pack in the engine bay, we're going to have a battery pack in this space here as well, and it's actually going to come up to about here, and we're going to have a small battery pack where the fuel tank used to be out the rear. So I want to see what is that box and what's inside and you know how much sound deadening there is and how much it weighs. So next job, get that box out and dig that thing out. Here we go. Blimey, Charlie, that is heavy. Oh. <sighs> Right, so that's the rear seat box out, and uh, our aluminium battery box is literally going to be the same size. I think it's one inch uh, longer, but height-wise, it's exactly the same as the seat mount height here. But this thing weighs oh, a lot more than I thought it would. It's uh, aluminium reinforced, but I think what's really weighing it down is all the soundproofing on here which obviously we're not going to need because A, the car's going to be a lot quieter anyway, and B, there's going to be a solid battery underneath there. So, yeah, I'm interested to see now how much the total vehicle weighs because I think that is going to be our total starting weight. So, the final weight is 1,700 kilos, nearly bang on 1,700 kilos. And... The starting weight was 2,365 kilos, so that is 665 kilos we've taken off this vehicle. How much did your Lotus weigh, Tim? 700 kilos. 700 kilos. So we've literally nearly taken off Tim's Lotus in weight of this Land Rover. So we've gone over the 600 kilo minimum that we needed. We've got 65 kilo you know, leeway, if you like, and uh, I think... If we really wanted to push it, we could probably take some more off, but we're into the you know, one to two, maybe five kilos max taken off. So 665 kilos is where we've ended up. That's going to be our starting point for this project. So there we go. 665 kilos of weight taken off this Land Rover Defender in a day. And if I'm honest, 
Tim was a little bit skeptical this morning as to whether or not we were going to achieve 600 kilos. I thought we'd hit it round about there or thereabouts, but 665 kilos, definitely happy with that. But Land Rover experts out there, question to you guys, what obvious things have we missed where we could get more weight savings, if you like, bearing in mind the customer kind of wants to keep the roll cage and the roof rack and the rear roll bar, just for the looks, really. Yeah, there's surely some more things that we might be able to take off, but one thing I've thought of is from a Defender that we featured on a previous episode, which is a carbon fiber bonnet, because when I lifted this thing up before, that weighed quite a bit. That is not exactly lightweight, that bonnet. So there we go. 1,700 kilos is the starting weight for this project. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be able to follow this build and others that we've got out there going on. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you on the next one.